Some people look at Shane Meal as a person who wasted an incredible opportunity as a NASCAR driver. Fair enough. But Shane rebuilt his life and his racing career driving open wheel cars. But it all went away in one terrifying moment last October. If your dream had come true and you threw it away, how far would you go to get it back? If you lost everything, when would you give up? Would you quit? We've worried about that kid since he was about six months old. Shane has been out of control since the first time he walked. He would race anybody that would come over. It's always been about racing, speed, as fast as he could go. He was destined to race race cars. Shane grew up racing anything on wheels without help from anyone, including his father, a mechanical NASCAR legend. Don't tell the old man nothing. I got it how I want it. You, you know what I mean? So, so I thought, well, that's, that's cool. He wants to do it himself. But if he's going to run his brake calipers upside down his light mile, he's going to have to figure that one out himself, too. While Shane was learning to race, his brother Tyler was always by his side. Shane always drove the cars, and Tyler always worked on them and did whatever it took to keep Shane's cars going. You know, they'll, they'll fight like cats and dogs, but don't ever get between them. You know, they're really close friends. He would beat the ever living heck out of me. He'd get on the four-wheeler and he'd outrun me. If it had anything to do with hand-eye coordination, he was more than likely better than me. When he was 16, he got a Ford Mustang. He used to take me on these rides, and they were called Hell Rides. And it was like, let's go run this car as hard as we can run through the country roads like the, the hazards did back in the day. I never felt like I was going to die. Shane Meal takes over the top spot. What a great job by Shane Meal. That Shane Meal is pretty awesome, isn't he? Go as hard as I can, and uh, that's what I get paid to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I ought to be young and brave. <laughs> Looking at that, you'd say, Shane Meal just run over him. I'll run you over to win the race. I'd run you over to run seventh. Here's Shane crashing it for eighth when, I mean, it pays 25 more dollars, but he just wasn't going to let you out run him. He didn't do well with losing. He was a lot better winner than he was a loser. Terrible sportsmanship. Terrible. Shane Mills, a young kid, he's fiery. You don't know how to drive a mother what? His whole life, he was a little bit of a loose cannon. You were like, I don't really know what this guy's about to do right now. 25 driver points, $10,000 fine. I'm not going to be intimidated by any threats. Fiery temperament aside, Shane quickly showed his talent on the track and befriended some of NASCAR's biggest stars. Oh, he had too much talent. He didn't have to work hard enough. You don't know what you got. You know, it comes so easy to you. You could stay out all night and still run 300 miles the next day, and you're just a really wild, tough, fast kid. That wild and tough kid was now on the verge of being completely out of control. Maybe I didn't want to believe it, but I knew in my heart that something was going on. Shane became one of the first NASCAR drivers to fail a drug test, testing positive for marijuana. He quickly completed NASCAR's requirements for reinstatement and was back to racing by the start of the next season. What a great job by Shane Meal. Shane Meal will win the Las Vegas 350. It was his dream come true. You know, this is a big deal for Shane. It puts a lot of closure to what happened to him at the end of last year. It shows that Shane Meal is back and it means business. NASCAR gave me the opportunity to, to fix everything that happened. My parents and family stuck behind me and uh, we won the race. And, uh, Thanks, NASCAR. Thanks, my family. Everything was not fixed. Shane admits he raced back into NASCAR without addressing his drug addiction. Just eight months later, he tested positive for marijuana and cocaine. Will Shane Meal race again? That's entirely up to him. He has this opportunity right now. NASCAR will work with him. Shane would not follow a recovery plan and failed a third and final drug test. Banned for life, this wreck would be his final NASCAR moment. At the time, I thought I was living the life I wanted to. I made a million dollars before I was 22, 23 years old. Crazy. I thought what I was doing was right. It, it wasn't. I was not a good human being. I was not doing the right thing. Come on, man. Get it together. I mean, you're going to end up under a bridge right now. You know? I mean, he just wasn't doing very well. The best thing that ever happened to him was him going to rehab. Nobody talked to me to do it. We just said, there's a place you can go if you'd like. 
In rehab, Shane embraced feelings and emotions long ignored. It changed his whole outlook on everything. I think it made him more aware of what he had lost. He'll tell you that even though he lost it, he gained more than he lost. He changed. He got. He he became mature and he realized there were rules and, and you had to live by them. That's when they started asking questions about why he made so many irrational decisions. That's when they figured out the bipolar. Long thought to be ADHD, Shane was diagnosed with bipolar two disorder. You live with somebody that's your older brother and they're they're bipolar. For the most part, you don't know what you're walking into that day. You know, he, he could love you more than anything in the world, but at the same time, he might want to beat the ever living heck out of you, just for no reason. I think he medicated himself with marijuana and cocaine, because he knew how he was going to feel if he did drugs. He didn't know, I don't think he knew how he was going to feel every day when he woke up. I do want people to understand how much I love NASCAR, and what NASCAR as a whole did for me pretty much saved my life, made my life way better. The last four years have been way better than the first 27, and that's all thanks to NASCAR. Now clean and burning to race, Shane chased a new challenge in Indiana. He felt like he had used up his chances. He worked way harder for that than he did to get in a bush car. Good. Ready to go win this thing. He knew that he had been given a talent and he was starting to respect it. I'm gonna get in this car and try to take his car home. Do it. He won four of Open Wheel Racing's biggest races in the same year, a feat no one else had accomplished, not even A.J. Foyt or Mario Andretti. What do you think about your son running his first Hoosier 100? There have been a number of great things happened over the past couple of years that's made me real proud of you, Shane. I think there's nothing but good things coming in the future for you, and, and you and I both know it's been a long, hard road, but, but you're doing a terrific job, and I think you got, you got the world in front of you, you got people standing behind you to help you through it.